Shout out to Sister Ashley's Corner. I caught our video on uh, what Erickson Lubin said about Jaime Maguire. And we remember Erickson Lubin for getting knocked out by Jamel Charlo when a lot of you guys told me that Charlo didn't have a chance. Charlo was a bum. Lubin was going to run through him. And I tried to explain, you know, moving up the right way in competition that people didn't understand it. But we back with the Boston Clinic and more. And, yes, I told you so. And it's your boy CJ Goodfellow, okay? I told you about that that Mel and Charlo stuff, but like Ashley Corner said in her video, I'm not going to make it about that, all right? Um, you know, we get into the screenshot where he said he was going to fuck Jaime Maguire up, or he will fuck Jaime Maguire up. And um, he had one or two comeback fights right now. Nothing major. I know one for sure. But um, like I said, he still don't learn. You know, I need to grab him by his collar, bro, and, and build him up the way he should have been built up the first time. Jorge Cotta wasn't a fight that bridged you from – to from you know from contender or prospect to world championship level, and that's why he got flatlined by Jamel. Okay, he wasn't ready for that level, that speed, that power. Okay, but he this is Derek Snoop. He said I'll fuck Maguire up, and I caught the Maguire fight versus Brandon Cook, and uh, Maguire looked technically uh, better in that fight. And I think he's just simply too big for Erickson Lubin. Erickson Lubin needs to work on his physique. He needs to work on his physical prowess, build his strength up. Do it the right way. He still got a little boy body. You've seen him versus Jamil Charlo, even though the fights are fought at the same weight, but everybody ain't the same, ain't, the, ain't strong the same. Everybody muscle and weight ain't distributed the same. Everybody ain't as strong as the next guy, no matter if you weigh the same uh, weight. He needs to build himself through up the right way. He need to get back on his fundamentals. He needs his confidence to be built up. I say a whole nother year of fights, man. Not just one or two comeback fights. He need a whole bunch of another year of good fights. A good contender fights. He need to continue to move up the right way. He didn't learn nothing from the Jamel Charlo fight. He think it was just a fluke. And he get in there with Jaime Maguire. He going to learn that fire is hot. And it's going to burn his ass. And he going to end up having to uh, go back to college. Or have to bag groceries at Winn-Dixie or Kroger or Myers, Whatever it may be. Walmart. Wherever you, uh, area in the world you live in at. Okay. He going to have to go uh, work at the Piggly Wiggly while going to school. He need to take his, take his time, man. These fighters, and I said it before, man, the Teofimo Lopez's and, and all these young fighters, Shakir Stevenson, they think they're ready, but they're not ready. And that's one of the benefits of having a promoter. You know what I'm saying? Your management team, your coach, they supposed to sit you down and say, this this is how we're going to move the right way. But now these kids' team is all yes men. Yes men. Yes men. There's no there's no reality check for these men. Somebody to grab them by their collar and tell them, look, you ain't ready, man. We're going we gonna to continue to fight good competition. We're going to move up the right way. But he he fuck with Jaime Maguire. I don't care what you say. Jaime Maguire is too big, too athletic for him right now. He got to work on his boxing ability. He got some ability. He got some skills. Erickson Lubin. He needs to continue to hone him and build his body up to compete with Jaime Maguire. Even though they might be around the same age, Jaime Maguire is really a middleweight, okay? That man is humongous. He could punch. Erickson Lubin needs to build his strength back up. Take his time. Go ahead and fight a good rest of the year. You should fight two more fights versus some tune-up guys. Next year, kind of step it up. You know, to maybe to maybe a mid grade level, a top fifteen, a fifteen and ten guy. Then get you maybe the twelve to eight guy. Then you get you eight to eight to seven six um, type of guy. Then towards the end of next year, you move into the top five. Okay, that's how you need to do it, man. And if you truly ready, you will pass all those tests. And if you have a couple close calls, then you know you need a little bit more time. He he just don't believe Fat Me Greasy. He thought. The Jamel Charlo thing was a blip. Remember, he was going around saying that he wanted a rematch again. He he don't he he don't like boxing. He don't love boxing. He don't see it as a future of him making money. Okay, because he go fucking with that Charlo twin again. He go fuck with Jaime Maguire. He not ready. He's not ready, man. Okay, he's physically not strong enough yet, man. And, and he feels his attributes don't make up for it. His power is overrated, man. You know his boxing skills right now it's overrated, man. He needs to by himself. He needs to continue to hone his skills in, continue to, to keep moving up the right the right way in competition as a prospect should. Okay, you tried to think he was Lomachenko. And Lomachenko feel when he stepped up in competition. You thought so. You know, you think Jaime Maguire is young, this whatever it may be, you might can outpoint him. You might can outpoint him right now. But if you risk it and you lose, you're gonna be just like Justin DeLoach. You know what I'm saying? Career in flux. Think about going to college, getting a backpack, you know what I'm saying? That's what you're going to be thinking about. These kids don't think reality is real to a smack them in their face. All right? They don't think reality is real. Erickson Lubin, Lubin needs to slow his road, man. Good young fighter. Move up the right way, family. Move up the right way. 
take your time. If if, if you're going to move him away, if the fight eventually will happen. You know, you think it's an easy way to the championship. You see this guy's a little fundamentally unsound. Look, man, this kid going to get better. He can punch. And at the end of the day, if you can't hurt this kid, he going to beat your ass, all right? <laughs> you know, he got more experience on a higher level than you. You know, Jorge Cotta, you know, won't 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 get you a world championship title uh, fighting just him. Step up the right way. And at some point, maybe you should try to get Isha Smith or J-Rock will be a dangerous fight for you. We'll try to get him, okay? Try to get one of them dudes sometime next year, at the end of next year, to really know if you're ready to get to that next level. Yeah, but if they go ahead and let him throw in the fire with Hurd or Jaime Gui or Charlo again, man, you man, it's all she wrote for that dude's career. It's over with, man. But it's the Boxing Clinic and more. Shout out to Sister Ashley's Corner. Make sure I go check her out, man. When she drop heat, it's straight heat, man. And I definitely appreciate uh, what she bringing to the table, man, from a woman's perspective as well. And, um, you know, hopefully she can get more consistent with her videos. We know we all got lives and shit, but I definitely enjoy her point of view. So make sure y'all check it out, man. But man, remember, we're on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Always check the description to know what we got going on, our podcast. Um, if you want to donate, the PayPal link is there as well. It's always something new, innovative, or something I got going on, or the channel just got on, going on. So I definitely appreciate it, man. Uh, definitely loving all the love and sharing all the videos on, on social media. But y'all know what it is. We out.